Hey, what's up, you guys? How's it going? I'm Lando Production. Did you guys know that Breaking Bad was rated the highest rated TV series of 2013? It's true, they even made it into the Guinness World Records books, huh? So my last video asked you guys, what would you do if you can go invisible? And this is what you said. Today's common question of the day is, what's your favorite food? Okay, so let me take you guys over to Arizona, where 35-year-old Connie Villa is being accused of killing her 13-year-old daughter on Christmas Day. She is also being accused of attempting to kill her other three daughters. She forced all of them to take narcotic drugs. But luckily they didn't die. Her husband Adam Villa called the police to report that his wife tried to stab him and then tried to stab herself. When police arrived onto the scene, that's when they found the teenager just dead on the ground. She was the only daughter that died from a drug overdose. Holy crap, what the heck is wrong with this mother? Like, is this real life right now? How are you capable of doing something like that? So Connie Villa was admitted to a Phoenix area hospital, where she was treated for her stab wounds in which she inflicted herself. Like seriously, if you want to commit suicide, go do it. But why bring in your kids? And then you try to kill your husband? Like, come on. What do you guys think should happen to this mother? Okay, so 21 year old David Charles, well he broke into an Indiana Medical History Museum and stole jars of human brains and tissues. And then he decided that he was gonna go sell them on eBay. Are people on eBay actually looking up to buy brains? Well, yeah, there is. And the guy that bought it, well he realized that it was a stolen product and that's when he contacted the police. And this wasn't the first time that he broke into the museum. He did it multiple times. The museum he broke into was a former state hospital. And these brain tissues came from 2,000 patients with psychiatric and mental disorders. There were brains from the 1890s to the 1940s. The San Diego man who bought the brains on eBay, well, his name isn't being released to the public. Well, he bought six jars valuing $600. So the detectives traced the transactions and it led right to David. They found out that he stole over 60 jars of brains and tissues. So all of the stolen materials have been returned to the museum. And for David, well, right now he's on trial to find out what's going to happen to him. Okay, so moving on to a 54-year-old and a 14-year-old mother and daughter. Well, they went on vacation to Indonesia where they stayed at a Bala resort. After hours of checking in, they were both suffering from a food poisoning. The mother and daughter were both taken to separate medical clinics. They were taken by two separate ambulances, and guess what? They both died. There was no immediate reports of anyone else who was staying at the same beach resort who was suffering from an illness. Post-mortem examinations on the mother and daughter have not yet been carried out, which means they can't really establish the exact cause of death. Investigators found out that they have been complaining just five hours after checking in to a security guard. The owners of the resort said, We run a small resort of 30 people, and this has never happened before. I really hope they find out the cause of the death, because then they can avoid it for other people. Anyways, viewers, that's all the news stories I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.